today I just wanted to show you a new circuit that we've been breadboarding. It's an envelope generator using the 555 timer. Our circuit's got two 555 timers. The first 55 timer is our envelope generator. It's controlling the brightness of this LED here and also an LED that's in this heat shrink. This LED in the heat shrink is shining into a light dependent resistor and that LDR is controlling the amplitude of our second 555 timer which is our audio oscillator. So when we press the trigger switch or the button, um, that's basically controlling the brightness of the LED which in turn is changing the resistance of the LDR which is changing the volume of the audio oscillator and what I've also got on the circuit are these two potentiometers this potentiometer I'm using to control the length of the attack and release of the envelope itself and then this other potentiometer I'm using to control the pitch of our audio oscillator so I'll just give you a quick demonstration You can also hold the button down. I quite like these high ones. Okay, so what you can also do is use the envelope to control, I'll just pop this in here, the frequency of the oscillator as well. How we've been able to generate this envelope is by using pin 6 on this 555 chip here and um, that's the threshold pin and I'm just going to turn on the oscilloscope and then I'll be able to show you what that waveform looks like. This waveform is created by the 555 timer charging and discharging this 100 microfarad capacitor that we've got in here. And if you look at the waveform, you can actually see that happening. Mm. If I get it in the right place. Mm. So that's the charge and the discharge. Mm. And it kind of looks like a shark's fin. show you a little bit better there. What we're going to do now is solder this circuit onto a circuit board, build it into an enclosure and in the meantime if you fancy having a go yourself you can head on over to our website which is sonodrome.co.uk and you can grab the schematics from there.